Uh, hydrofracking, uh, I don't, does anybody know what hydrofracking is? Okay. Um, so I'm, I held, I actually supported the moratorium as an assemblyman. I was the first Republican to come out supporting the moratorium. Um, there have been some real horror stories in, in other states. And uh, I understand the need for job creation. Um, there are questions of what type of jobs would be created uh, for New Yorkers or opposed to international companies for a short term. But at the end of the day, even with serious job creation, we don't want to do it at the expense of contaminating our drinking water for hundreds or thousands of years. And we have seen horror stories in other states where that has exactly uh, happened. So we're actually going to be doing a tour. We're going to Pennsylvania. We're going to go to the, uh, the source. Uh, and we're seeing across the border uh, that there are loopholes in the law that allow that, that fracking material to come over to New York State. In fact, one of them was going to a local uh, wastewater uh, treatment plant that was not designed to take that kind of con contamination or sewage plant. Um, and, uh, so we're, and we're going to be holding a hearing on it. We're hosting a bipartisan hearing. We're inviting all the senators and assemblymen who want to attend that. I think it's going to be in Peekskill, August 23rd. Okay, in Katona. Um, so, you know, extremely important issue. Uh, and uh, one that it looks like is gaining political steam and just getting it done. And I want to put the brakes on it a little bit to say, before we get it done, uh, what are the real long-term implications here? 